Welcome to this video. Today I will be testing ESET, the premium version of this antivirus software. There is no free version that I am aware of, but I did use the free trial to test the premium version, so please be aware of that. And also right off the bat, I do want to apologize because I am voicing this over after the fact. Normally I try to record it live and then just cut out snippets due to time restraints, but I did have some video and sound issues, and so I am recording this after the fact. There is a portion of this video that is missing. I will point out at what point that comes, but the majority of it is here. So again, I apologize. I've made some changes to prevent that in the future. In this test, I had 12 samples of malware that I used to do this test, and the procedure is as follows. I first restarted the computer to make sure ESET was fully up to date, as you can see here on your screen. After the computer restart, the protection settings turn back on by default, and here on your screen, you can see me running through to show which settings are turned on by default. And then I proceeded to let ESET sit there for just a moment to see if it would detect anything on its own. And I do that because some people do want to see if an antivirus can detect any uh, infections or malicious uh, files without actually doing a manual or scheduled scan. On your screen right now, you can see that ESET is popping up as it shows positive uh, detections. It actually detected four of the 12 samples on its own. Now after that point, I did run a manual uh, full system scan, and that's the part of the video that is missing, so I do apologize again about that, but I did run a full system scan. Here on your screen, you can see after the fact when the scan completed, it did uh, successfully detect the remaining eight samples and automatically clean them. So we did have 100% detection and 100% removal of those 12 samples. Now I did not run any second opinion scans because nothing was executed. Normally, if there are samples left over after letting it sit and after running the scan, I do try to execute them, but there were none left, so there was no need to run second opinion scans in this specific test. Please do not jump to the conclusion that this means ESET is the best. It did perfect in this test, but there are many, many, many different other types of antivirus tests, so it may perform a little bit differently. But again, in this test, it did, it did perfect. We do like to see that from premium services. You definitely don't want to pay money and then have substandard protection. So that is something we definitely want to see. Also keep in mind when you pay for an antivirus, you're also paying for premium tech support and other benefits and features that you may not get in free antivirus software. That's everything for this video. If you have any comments or questions, please post them down below. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a great day. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you found it helpful, please go ahead and consider sharing it. And please also consider subscribing to my channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notifications on future videos.